All right, hello, welcome to the Long Island weather update. A brief weather update tonight because I hiked in two places tonight and I'm t today, and I'm tired. Unfortunately, we did have a, a, a lot of clouds around, completely unexpected. Nobody called for it. None of the models predicted it. I kind of saw them kind of coming down in the satellite this morning, and I'm like, I couldn't believe it. I'm like, I just, I decided to. I don't. I think the you know every single model was saying it was going to be clear, but. I went out there, and unfortunately, I uh, went to Rocky Point, and yeah, I got there in the morning, like 10 o'clock in the morning, and this was what the sky was like. It was pretty junky, and uh, just, just a lot of clouds, pretty much a mid-deck with some high clouds around, um, and uh, you know, after being there an hour and a half and seeing no improvement, I just headed back out again and uh, went to, uh, this, again, this is what the sky looked like. A few, there were a few breaks there. This was around, again, late, late morning, noontime. Um, you could see here again, just uh, a, a deck of clouds that was like completely unexpected. I I don't know what 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 the reasoning was behind this. I'm guessing Pacific moisture. I'm guessing maybe warm air advection, but none of the models seem to pick up on it. Just because they underestimate the strength. This probably has to do with the Pacific and the Super El Nino, the gut that's going on. Uh, but so I went to a store in Port Jefferson, got some groceries, and then. When I left, it was becoming mostly sunny again, so I did actually go for another walk in the pines in a smaller pl smaller place cause, uh, by P off Pine Road uh, in uh, the north part of Quorum. So that was pretty, and I have a short video of that for you as well. Skies this evening, uh, for the most part, clear. Maybe a few uh, clouds here. This was in Babylon. Looking at the lake here, some pretty Christmas lights. Uh, and, um, and then... Um, Trying to find, I was trying to see again if I could find any shooting stars tonight. Uh, this meteor shower, I don't know. I don't know what people are talking about. I, I, I see nothing. I, you know, standing at this, looking at the sky for like ten or fifteen minutes. This was in Deer Park. I went to Deer Park. I tried to pick a dark place to go to this evening. Believe it or not, I took the five bus there. We had some people on it, uh, but um, from Babylon. But um, you can see no shooting stars in the picture. Uh, the pines do look nice though. Uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, so we had all these clouds around. Right now, um, not, not, not as many clouds. I do see some, still some high clouds over there, but it seems like the most of the clouds seem to be over, over Maine. Uh, so let's take a look at what our statistics were at Islip for today. The high, only 39. That's below normal, so we didn't even make it to 40 at Islip. Normal high is 45, 6 degrees below normal. The low of 25 was 5 degrees below normal, giving us an average of 32, which is 6 degrees below normal. Uh, so let's go to our weather map right now, and you'll see that we do have those light winds tonight. So we're getting that radiational cooling. West Hampton's down to 21. Everybody else is in the mid 30s, 34 at eye slip right now. Uh, let's see New Jersey. Uh, also seeing some radiational cooling in there. Pine Barrens too, 24 at Coil Field. The West Hampton has the cold coldest reading at again, 21 degrees. So let's look at our highs for the day. And our highs are uh, yeah, only upper 30s to uh, close to 40 on Long Island. At, headed toward the city, I had some low 40s there. Uh, let's see what Central Park got up to today. 40 degrees, generally low 40s in the city. And then making your way into New Jersey, low and maybe even some middle 40s as you head further south there. 44 at Coil Field for a high, so significantly warmer than Long Island. Looking at the lows this morning, 19 degrees at West Hampton, 25 at Ice slip, so everybody got to below freezing. And actually, there was some ice uh, at Rocky Point. I should show it. So it's 19 degrees also at, uh, at, um, at Coil Field as well. So pretty chilly in the Pine Barrens. And I will show you this. So if we go back, got to go back. You can see that. Uh, you can see the ice. There's a puddle here. You can see there's a thin layer of ice on that there. I did not take a video at Rocky Point, but I did. Take a video at L in the uh, Pine Road area. So, and then you'll see why they call it Pine Road in a little bit. So, anyway, you think with this big high pressure over us, we would have nice clear skies. But, anyway, tomorrow, it's just I'm only covering the weather through tomorrow in this weather uh, update here. Uh, you know, uh, you'll see here that uh, that high kind of stays over us uh, and keeping us. It almost looks like we're going to continue in a northwest flow tomorrow looking at those isobars. Um, or so I'm surprised the models are shifting. The winds to the southwest, I think. But we will have that northwest flow, I think, maybe continue into tomorrow. So let's look at the HRRR here. Zero Z HRRR. And we will go and look at our dew points and wind flow for the first thing. So you can see that tonight we're probably going to have radiational cooling. So 
teens possible in the Pine Barrens again. Uh, definitely everywhere else, probably upper 20s. And then for tomorrow, uh, you'll see that we still have the west wind. So, yeah, not a southwest wind. We have a west wind tomorrow uh, that's going to continue. Uh, to uh, that'll bring in the warmer air. And then as we head into Saturday, that's when the wind shifts from the west to the north and to the northeast, and then by the evening off to the east. All right, so I'll talk, we'll talk a little bit about Saturday here. Uh, but as far as the storm goes, I'm going to cover that tomorrow night because uh, we have a, another big whopper of a storm coming for early next week. Uh, so anyway, uh, you'll see here, you know, it's going to be rain, all right? Uh, but uh, you'll see here uh, tomorrow our highs will be a lot warmer with that westerly wind we're going to get up into, and I think most places are going to reach 50 or better, even on Long Island uh, with that westerly wind. And then at night, dropping down probably into the mid-30s, though it could be cooler in the Pine Barrens areas. And then Saturday, maybe just a, a touch cooler. I think, still think we're going to get close to 50. All right, so now let's look at, even though this kind of misled us, we're going to look at the soundings again for tomorrow. And let's see what we got here. And you'll see the lines are kind of close together. And yeah, so I'm, I, I wouldn't surprise me if we see the same deal again with the clouds tomorrow. Let's see if Jersey's any better. Not really. They are kind of close to each other here. All right. Maybe if we go a little bit earlier, maybe it's a little better. Um, but, yeah, they are kind of close to each other. So we're going to have to watch for upper-level moisture, I think, certainly tomorrow. Uh, and then for Saturday, um, I'm not really going to talk. Let's see if we can get a 16s A1. No, no availability. So I'm not going to really cover the skies too much on Saturday. Well, I'll, I'll cover it with the RJAM. That's it. Uh, so let's go to the GFS model. And look at the skies here. And you'll see, oh, yeah, GFS is pretty cloudy. So tomorrow you can see it's got some scattered high clouds over us. Um, and then uh, for uh, Saturday, yeah, it looks like it's got a lot rolling in on us uh, already. So uh, let's go to the RGM next. Uh, and we'll look at the RGM. We actually have the latest RGM in because we're running a little bit late tonight. Though the problem with the latest RGM is um, it won't. It's missing some data. So looking at tomorrow, again, the RGM is not showing much, but I, I've got to be cautious about this for tomorrow that we may see the same type of situation. We may or may not. It really depends on what the satellite looks like. Um, uh, RGM obviously doesn't have too many clouds. Saturday, it also doesn't have too many clouds until the afternoon. Uh, but we're going to have to watch this closely because there could be some more clouds. I was really disappointed about all the clouds. But this is what you get in this kind of Pacific pattern. We need a, a pattern shift because the problem is, yeah, we had a cold day, but tomorrow is warmer. That's warm air advection, and that means clouds usually coming in because it's not a long duration type of thing. So um, that's the thing that we have to you know, watch out for. But anyway, I'm tired, so I'm going to wrap this video up. Have a good night.